Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part four of the video series. So, in this session, we are going to look at how to create list boxes, multi boxes, and their uh, properties as well. So, for slicing and di dicing the data which has been loaded into ClickView application, so we have to use uh, these list boxes. They are pretty much like selection uh, objects. So that are uh, providing the flexibility in selecting one or more uh, uh, attributes that you want to have. So let's switch to click view. So in my case, uh, I have already created an application sample one. Let me so. just remove the created uh, list object so this is a list object okay how to create a list object so you can create in multiple ways one is just go there onto the design uh, tool bar and click on create list box or else just right click on the uh, empty space of the sheet and then select new sheet object and then select list box so now it will ask you title for that in my case the title is gender and uh, the field which i'm going to consider to have the values in here is gender okay so if you want to use the field name as title then you can select it okay so the object is id is blank so if you want to uh, perform some kind of actions on the top of uh, object id you can use that right so just create it we will see about the reminders now this is here so you can uh, just click on this and you can search for any value which is there in that field okay so let's see the properties of the so and mode if you have a, oh, another field which is in relation with this gender and that has a common values so in that case you can enable and mode okay by default click view works on our mode selection okay you can show the alternatives okay in that case oh that's one so you can observe these alternatives uh, whenever you have uh, multiple i can say values so we in that in our case we have only two and we can show the frequency so how many times we have this female value in this field it's 482 and 518 and you can also indicate that in percentage format as well so in percentage it's nothing but relative percentage okay and uh, uh, hide excluded is nothing but if you have selected anything means the other value is excluded the other value is not related in click view uh, the selected value would be green and the associated values will be in white color and uh, non-related values or non-associated values would be in gray color so let's create one more list box with customer id okay so now I'm going to select a female. So here, if I scroll it down, you can find the non-related values. So see here. So the white are related to the female means the selected value, and the gray ones are non-related values, non-associated values means they are male. Okay. So let's go to properties, and then you know, read only means you can just read only. You want to write it. Okay, it so means it won't it can't it won't allow you to select anything. Okay, always one select is nothing but other. so here we don't have any selection. We have one selection. You just clear it. It will clear the selections. Assume you want you, you won't have one selected value always. So in that case, all select always one selected value, and even though you clear it, it won't get clear because you have selected one value and you made it as always one selected value. So you can override the local fields okay and then uh, you can show as trees suppose if you are using uh, hierarchies in that case we use this tree structure so we'll see in the upcoming sessions okay and expressions you can write an expression and you can uh, represent the expression type as well whether the text stream is subtle case linear case we'll see all these things in the upcoming session and how you want to sort the values so this is also the way you can sort so you want to sort z to a a to z that's your wish okay and uh, presentation 
okay where the values should be there in the center right aligned or else left aligned how and uh, the values which are there in the list box or text or images we can also place images in the list box okay and numbers suppose if you have numbers in there how they should be formatted and font what the font font uh, to be used and layout so if you have enabled and this is a, i mean if let's go to document settings if you have enabled the advanced here in document settings then you can see the curl uh, uh, rounded corners okay so you can enable or disable that's your wish and in the caption you have these things we'll see about these settings it says these are the properties of the list box so let's see it here in, in our case we can able to create only uh, only a uh, one object per field to do the selection assume that i have a limited space in this space i want to create four visual i mean four these list boxes so if i do create a list box one by one or one after one so it will be like cluttered clumsy view it will become clumsy view. so in that case we can go for multi box so select uh, the fields which you want to have in selections okay and then let's have customer id as well and press ok now what we will do is it will create the list boxes and combine them means so this is another type you can uh, get a flexibility of selecting all at uh, one place and you can save the place as well okay and uh, you can select them pretty much so why these two are selected when i selected so there is only one combination with apple fuzzy if only one female bought apple fuzzy and she's uh, her customer id is 669 and so and the settings are pretty similar properties are pretty similar to the same so you have a sorting option and you have presentation and you have number so in the presentation you can find always one all those things ignore nulls read only and whether it is i mean if we are using numbers in the fields so how this to be formatted and font layout caption the font layout caption are uh, similar in uh, all the sheet objects in clickview so that's all for uh, today's session thanks for watching the session please do subscribe